Hi, this is Mike from the Mobile Fanatics. Today I got my Nokia Lumi 920 um, running Windows Phone, of course, and it has um, a new app called Instagram. It's actually a third party app that is fully featured and gives you the full Instagram experience. So I'll go ahead and launch it right here, and the first thing you see is home. You can scroll through the latest photos um, from people you're following. Here's a photo I took yesterday of myself. We'll go ahead and double tap it to like it. So that added a like. That's one of the features. You could tap on the single tap and see the comments and the likes. There's all the likes. Comments, you could add another comment down here. You could save the photo, unlike it, share it, and trash it if you want. I could share it with the built-in Windows Phone sharing if I haven't already shared it with Twitter, Facebook, etc. Um, it's a very smooth app. Down here you got search, camera which lets you upload or take a new picture, refresh, and your profile. And then you tap on the three dots in Windows Phone and you get all the other settings. We'll go ahead and take a look at the settings real quick. Background updates, live tile, notifications, it's all working pretty good. You could add two accounts, Facebook and Twitter, so that when you upload a photo, you could optionally send it to one of those two besides just um, Instagram. And then the filters, the developer could add more filters and you won't have to update the app. So that's pretty cool. You could get filters just from here. You won't have to do an update in the Windows Phone store. And you could slide over. The next screen is popular photos right now. So you could view those, then you got your current activity, which are pretty much the notifications that you get. And pretty cool feature, I could, um, let's see, I could pin somebody to the start screen. So if I just want to have their photos on the start screen, here I could follow and unfollow as well. See right there is unfollow, I could follow people there too. I could pin this person down on the start screen so every time I launch the app it'll go straight to their profile. So here we have um, the icon I have right here. It's on the small tile right now. I could enlarge it. I could also make it a half size. And let's upload a photo real quick. Let's do uh one of these, I'm about to review this speaker pretty soon. So we'll add this photo to Instagram. Check it. Um, here's all the filters you have. Some of them are a little bit too much like that one. This one, not a huge fan. We'll go with something a little bit more subtle. I'll check that one. Post to Facebook. Share on Twitter. I'm going to uncheck Facebook. I'll share it on Twitter. Here's where you add the caption. I'll write upcoming review. And you could also mention people as well. I'll just leave it at that. Tap done. And now it's being uploaded. And there you go. Now it's on Instagram. So that's pretty much everything you need to know. Um, if you go to the profile page, you have some options right here. You can make your profile private. You can see your timeline, photos of me, maybe other people have tagged you, um, all the people that have liked your posts, and the people that you're following, along with the followers. So there you have it. That's uh, the Instagram app. There's a free version with ads, and there's also another version that's you could buy that's uh, I believe it's a dollar twenty nine in the Windows Phone store and it takes away the ads and you could also try it for free have one photo upload and you could also create a new Instagram account from this application thanks for watching let me know if you have any questions in the comments below